Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Chandler. Welcome back to the channel. So today we are playing another one of those spectacular kind of games. Uh, even though it doesn't really get weird until the close to the end, we are playing Doki Doki Literature Club. And I know what a lot of you guys are probably thinking, Chandler, why are you wearing glasses? Why, why do you? Why are you not wearing a hoodie like always? It's because we're doing a light novel, and I can't read without glasses. So. Um, yeah, so we're going to be doing Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm going to make this a full series on my channel because I've never done a full series with a um, light novel before. And I really want to get into light novels on this channel just because I really wanted to do them with my previous channel and I never got the chance to. And it was always something I regretted about my last channel is I never actually went through with it and did it. So that's what we're going to be doing. This is going to be the first light novel series on this channel. And it's going to be complete all the way to the end. So I have no idea how many episodes it'll be, or how long the episodes will be. Probably not too long, just because, you know, time and I work, all that kind of stuff. But probably like 20 to 30 minutes each. So hopefully you guys do enjoy. If you do, remember to smash that like button, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell just, in, just so you know when all my new videos are coming out. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Chandler, and today we are playing Doki Doki Literature Club, or at least starting it. Uh, this is going to be a pretty decently long length series on my channel. I uh, said at the beginning of this video as well, I don't know how long exactly it is. I'm not going to be doing voices for the characters just because I, uh, I'm i not good at voices. So I might like change the infliction or something like that around just like so you know which character is which. But I'm not going to be doing like any crazy voices or anything like that. So hopefully we uh, you all enjoyed this uh, series. I'm going to love it, I'm sure, just because I love visual novels, I love anime, I love manga, I love all that kind of stuff. And this looks like it's really cute. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in and get started. Alright. Hey! I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. I have a few of those. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. What a dick. <laughs> However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Good guy. <sighs> <sighs> I overslept again. But I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. And you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. Yeah. I was, actually. A few times. That's mean, Chandler. Oh, I forgot I changed it to say my name. Ew. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me, after all. I guess you don't have any need to be mean to me if you want to. Even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the street becomes increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Chandler, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sorry likes to worry a little too much about me, when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. My boy! Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? Look at that cute face. She's so adorable. And I know you're happy now, but I'd die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. Hey, okay. First of all, fuck you. <laughs> it's 
it's okay to be a neat. For those of you who don't know, a neat is somebody who's not employed, uh, educated, or in training for work. That's not employed, educated, or training. Neat. That's what neat means, okay? So, fuck you, Sayori. It's okay to be a neat every once in a while. Jesus. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. On to the next scene! The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I, pick up, after I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. There are no students. There's no students. I mean, I guess he did say the day was over. Whatever. Clubs. Sarah wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sayori? Sir must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. Awkward. I thought I'd catch up. I thought I'd catch you up. What? I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing me out, so I came in. I don't know why I couldn't say that one sentence. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. I bet you are. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late for your own club. Oh, wait, that was me. Oh, well. my inflictions don't matter anyway. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. Know what? Well, that you would come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. No way in hell. Eh, easy, meanie. I almost said the Japanese word. I need to stop watching so much anime. Uh, <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, I've been teaching myself Japanese for the last six years, and I'm 100% self-taught. I've barely cracked a book open. Conversationally, I'm actually pretty good. But now that I've started to learn, like, the reading and stuff like that, whenever I read in English, I end up, like, my brain just auto-populates the word in Japanese. Like, mini is catchy, because it's, like, stingy. So. <laughs> I need to stop doing that. It's just hard, because I'm. it's like I'm watching an anime. Alright. Sari is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature at all, but whatever. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. 99%. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title of Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Did she just rise, like, a foot? Why do you care so much, anyway? Well... I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a member. And Natsuki, Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Bitch, really? You just... This bitch lied to get me into this club. Don't make promises you can't keep, Sayori. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to have planned all this out. Probably just cutting. I let out a long sigh. <sighs> I think that was long enough. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Boy, if I could tell you every time I've sold my soul for a cupcake, I wouldn't be fat. Okay, why did the music stop? I dejectedly followed Sayori across the school and upstairs. 
a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third-year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, this is the new member here. The new member is here. Oh my god, English. I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh? I glance around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. She's got like that sophisticated kind of feel to her. Girl one. I think me and girl one are really gonna hit it off. I mean, she's kind of got that sophisticated vibe to her because she got the big old titties. Damn. Big old titties. She's got the long purple hair, which is supposed to be like long black flowing hair, I guess. And the big old titties. It's all about the titties. Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Oh, she's just like Valley Girl. Should I give her a Valley Girl accent? I feel like I should. I should. Ah, Chandler, what a nice surprise. And she's just... Girl. Welcome to the club. Uh... All words escape me in this situation. This club... Is full of incredibly cute girls! What are you looking at? Wait, hold up. I gotta do the <clears throat> channel my inner valley girl. Pumpkin spice. Got it. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. This is sorry. Natsuki. <laughs> the girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is the one I is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back toward the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki. Natsuki. Always full of energy. I don't know why I have so much problems saying their names. Oh my god! And this is Yuri. She's the smartest in the club. Don't, don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, oh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Chandler. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we've rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was, the, was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, very plain. Basically, completely out of my league. So, having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You too, Monica. It's funny, Monica and Chandler. Anybody who's old enough to get that reference, <laughs> leave a like down below. That's good shit. I didn't even think about that. That's good shit. Chandler and Monica. Ah, uh, fuck. Uh, I love Monica. Okay. Come sit down, Chandler. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. Uh, I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll go get them. Wait. Mm -hmm. Pumpkin spice. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. I gotta tilt my head a little bit. Because like, <clears throat> it's Valley Girl. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about make, I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sarah mentioned, it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take this, a seat next to Sari. It doesn't even give me the choice! I wanted the choice! Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Wait, I gotta- I will master the Valley Girl by the next video, I promise. But for now, Pumpkin Spice. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Oh! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray and reveals a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing, but the little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sari grabs the first one, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. 
of course. I turn the cupcake around on my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she's made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Tsundere! Tsundere alert! Somebody call the tsun police! Made them for you or anything? Uh, I thought you technically did. Sayori said... Well, maybe... But not for, you know, you, dummy. Baka! <laughs> alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a, se a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess? I like Monster to go with my manga, thank you. Goes pretty well. Well, Red Bull does too. Monster or Red Bull, either one. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh, th that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. Oh, she's so cute. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Alright, and we're back. Sorry about that brief interruption there. I had to take a call. Alright, where were we? Yuri faintly smiles and to herself in relief. <laughs> Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. <laughs> Just like that. So what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... Yeah. That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Kissing the babies! I know I'm stupid. Uh, let's see. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the other major clubs. Weren't you leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school but it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. I'm just... Look at that. That's a bunch of cuties. Just a bunch of cuties. Alright, Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they're also delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though, I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So Chandler, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Manga? He said, 
Manga. He said it. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. Oh wait, that was me. Whoops. Well, that can change. Who cares? What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. That is a beautiful sadness smile right there. Look at that. It's beautiful. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rims of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that, when, that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination and complete, completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. What a coincidence. Oh, uh, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasped something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or it takes me into another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. I cannot, like, I, I cannot not laugh. Every time I do her voice, just a little like a <laughs> like a little chuckle. I'll master it. I will master the pumpkin spice. Okay. It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud. That was wow, that was like demonic as fuck. <laughs> it started out like really deep and went really high all of a sudden. And give that back. Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Oh, look at that blush. Siri slides up behind Natsuki, Natsuki and pats her on the shoulders. I'm not cute. No, you're pretty fucking adorable. That's just a given. I and mean, look, look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Look at Look at Look at Look at Look at She's a fucking adorable. Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Oh yeah, she said something I think about writing poems or something. Why don't you share them sometime? No. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, uh, not a very confident writer yet? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. Jesus, that's fucking poetic. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have ex uh, writing experiences too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Uh, I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aw, oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Eh? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically. Quizzically? Very nice wordplay. At Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um... Uh... Yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it'll be, help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Chandler? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. 
Hold on. There's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sierra may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and... Um... Monica's fucking face, dude. She's just like... Say it, bitch. Say it and I cut you. <laughs> oh no, her little eyebrows just dropped. Her and Sayori, their eyebrows just like, dropped. Oh shit. I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back in with dejected eyes. But... I'm sorry, I thought... <laughs> Chandler... Y you all... I, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls? Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club! Yeah! One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes! I'm so happy! Siri wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, hey! Back the fuck up, bitch! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I'd be super pissed. Then that makes it official. What the hell? What the hell? Why is fucking Natsuki eating Monica's hair? Monica, move your fucking hair, I can't see Natsuki's face. Welcome to the literature club. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. Um, okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. I'm just gonna keep my hand like this. Everyone remember tonight's assignment? This is pretty accurate, actually. Everyone remember tonight's assignment? Write a poem to bring the next meeting. Wait, write a poem to bring to the next meeting, so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Chandler, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside of me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey Chandler, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sarah and I never walk home together anymore because she always had to stay after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? Perhaps I'll have a chance to go closer to one of these girls. Alright! I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. Cause it's anime. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Alright. So that is where we are going to actually stop and save the game for today. Uh, so hopefully you guys did enjoy if you do go ahead if you did go ahead and leave a like and a comment down below Letting me know what you want to see more of if you want to see more of not only Doki Doki Literature Club But any of the other light novel series that I have uh, that I already have available uh, I have a couple other ones like Sakura, uh, Sakura Swim Club um, uh, Narkisu and a couple other ones that I really do enjoy I really would like to show on the channel so if you have any other suggestions as well, go ahead and put those there too. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit, uh, press <laughs> subscribe and click that little bell so that you know when all my new videos are coming out. And yeah, have a wonderful rest of your day, guys. Bye.